financial crisis in Cyprus right now? Cyprus is serious, but Cyprus, the dimension of Cyprus is very, very, very slow, very low, you know. วิกฤตการเงินไซปรัสทําให้รัฐบาลกู้เงินจากกองทุนการเงินระหว่างประเทศ1 0,000 ล้านยูโรมาประคับประคองภาคธนาคารโดยรัฐบาลออกมาตรการควบคุมการถอนและใช้เงินของประชาชนรวมทั้งมีการเก็บภาษีเงินฝากในธนาคารด้วย But now one of the measures that came out is to tax deposits doesn't sound very fair to the well, average of uh, this is uh, this is completely unfair <laughs> Uh, but uh, you know, one thing if if uh, this, this is fair or not, and one other thing is if this is dangerous for all the European system. There are two different problems. Mm. I don't know if it is fair. Uh, in this case, I repeat, uh, I think I think that uh, this was done because it was uh, was not. Damaging Europeans, but for <laughs> investors, <laughs> to be very, very blunt, uh, if this is dangerous in order to bring some contagion to Europe, I don't think so. Would it be possible for Cyprus to be forced out of the eurozone? No, because I think that uh, with this decision, things can be fixed uh, easily. And then you know to draw out of the eurozone, you can in theory, but you have to be very careful because uh, 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 the idea of uh, getting in and out, you know, uh, uh, this could be dangerous for for the future of the currency. A currency is is forever; it's not for for the moment, you know. Mm -hmm. But with all the recent financial crisis in Europe. Is the single currency still the way to go? Yes. Well, you know, uh, I am afraid not because the euro is weak. I am afraid because the euro is strong. And our problem that you know uh, uh, we started one by one with the dollar, then we went zero point ninety one nine nine nine. We are we are right till one forty point forty five, and then we are around one thirty. And you know how can you say that a currency is in danger when 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 it's going on and on, and now are worried that it's too high? How would you rate the success of the European Union so far, 60 years since its formation? Look, the success of the European Union uh, clearly we did a lot. You know, 27 countries. When you think that there is a parliament in which. We speak 22 different languages, you know, and but we run together things, you know. Uh, mm, we did the enlargement when the Iron Curtain was falling. Uh, Europe was able to 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 to, to heal a, an enormous political problem, you know. Uh, but uh, uh, in the last years, the globalization has has brought a lot of fear, you know. We are not. Europe is in a period of, of fear for, for, for competition, for Chinese competition, for immigration, for you. And so uh, people are afraid to lose the old primacy, the old, you know. And uh, so uh, my judgment now is that clearly it's not the best moment for Europe. But uh, I understand that you must in this historical thing, you must look at the long range, and uh, and I should like that uh, other country, other you know nations could, should be in the same situation. Even even what is criticized more, the welfare state. Look, uh, in the end of the story, uh, the European are much better off than anybody else in the world. You know. Uh, Countries are different, but if you take the average, we are protected. We go to hospital without paying, uh, pension decreases, but we still have pension, you know. And uh, look, uh, uh, this is the truth. So you think the EU actually deserved the Nobel Peace Prize last year? Yes, yeah, uh, especially the Nobel Peace Prize, uh, because. Uh, uh, 
is already three generations that we have no any conflict. Can you believe? And, and in a complex situation, you have minorities everywhere. You know, it's not. You have not only this problem, not only in Thailand. You know, but you have a mix of of population. You know. Do you see the growth of Asia as a threat to Europe? No. Well, I, I, I well, many see that. You know, many think that, and I have. Uh, Many call me the Asian or the Chinese or the Japanese because I say, look, this is the change of the world. We must accept it because when two, three billion people wake up, this is a good thing, this is not a bad thing. But we have to change ourselves, you know. And uh, I think that we are able to do it. We are able to do it uh, because we are able to change our, our nature. Of course, a Europe divided should not be able to do it. But together we are 500 million people, not so bad, you know, not like China or India, but you know, not so bad. You know. And we can, we can be among the leaders in the world. Now for Southeast Asia, we are moving towards uh, AEC, the ASEAN Economic Community in 2015. What should be the lesson that we should learn from EU and its single currency? But the first lesson is that you cannot live alone in the new world. So please go on, even if you have to do sacrifice, go on in the direction of, of cooperation and unity. Then. Clearly, uh, a common currency in Asia will be much more difficult than in Europe because of the system of the central bank, because of the different uh, uh, concept of, uh, let's say, governance that you have. Uh, so you must make uh, different experiments. But uh, uh, a precondition for development is complete peace with the neighbors is, uh, uh, you know, even when you have a problem of minorities, uh, that generally they are linked to, to neighbor countries, and when you have very good relation with your neighbor, you can handle all the problems, you know. Mm -hmm.